I'm shucking some drives. I'm shucking some drives. What's up, YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits, and in today's video, I am shucking 40 ter. Okay, that's a lie. I'm not shucking 40. To be honest, this box is empty. I actually ordered this before I got all of these and it's now being used on my main computer. I used to have an eight terabyte version of this that was just hooked up with USB, but uh, I took that eight terabyte, shuck that and put it into Zeus. Now, originally I was not going to get any more 10 terabyte drives. Um, pretty much because Zeus runs eight terabyte max, which means my parity drives, I have two of them, they're eight terabytes. So if I put a 10 terabyte drive in there without making the parity drives 10 terabyte, I can only use eight terabytes because that's how Unraid works. So in order for me to switch to 10 terabyte hard drives, I need to replace both of my parity drives from the eights up to the tens. And here we are. I have, ugh. So this, false advertisement, but it looked really good in the thumbnail. And I actually don't know what the 10 terabyte drives drives are because I haven't shucked one yet. I shucked the eight terabytes and those are all white labeled red drives, uh, at least so far. So I'm kind of curious to see what these are gonna be. Then I have a screwdriver, a Torx driver, and a cheap knife that I don't care if I bend or dull out. Side note, this is not a tutorial on how to shuck drives. There are better ways to do it, cleaner ways to do it, but I don't actually keep the, the, the shell itself. I just throw it away. So I don't care if I'm doing it right. I just, just, just get in there. You know what I mean? Oh, and I have a laptop too. That way I can at least plug in the hard drive, make sure it's you know booting up and doing what it's supposed to do before I destroy it. It's a good thing to do. So without further ado, Check out the links in the description if you need a VPN. I have a setup with NordVPN that you get a pretty badass discount if you use my link. I'm not gonna tell you whether it's the fastest thing out there or the best thing for you. What I will tell you is that they give you 30 days to try it out. If you don't like it, they'll give you a full refund. Okay, now let's do it. Sure, maybe I need to do like a full test and make sure that, you know, there's no errors on the drive, but that takes a long time. And I just, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? So instead, I'm just going to plug it in, make sure it does what it's supposed to do, and then stab it until its guts are revealed to me. While this is booting up, I wanna talk about what I'm going to do with three additional 10 terabyte hard drives. Now that I have three more of these, I want to swap out my parity drives on my Unrained server, basically upgrading my capacity per drive to 10 terabytes, to 10 terabytes. Yeah, you get what I mean. And then for the third one, I'm on the fence because when I stick those in there, I can technically use those other eight terabyte drives that were originally the parities, add them to it, and I get 16 additional terabytes of usable space. But I am also considering taking my 5960X, my old system, and turn it into a dedicated Blue Iris box. I know it's a little bit overpowered for what I need it for with Blue Iris, but the virtual machine that I'm using right now, it's just, it's just not there. Okay, this looks like it's working. Just fine. I'm thinking of using one of these 10, actually I'm pretty sure I'm going to use one of these 10 terabytes in that 5960 Blue Iris build so I could have a bunch of stored data just in case I need them for any reason. I don't know why I would, but who knows. Now a proper person might say, Jason, you need to like, you know, put a credit card in there and then, you know, gap it and then do it the right way and, and save the case. I don't believe in all that. Especially when you know you're just gonna throw this all away. It doesn't matter. That's all there is to it. Shut, almost. Okay, it's not all there is to it. Uh, WD100E MAZ. Now this is the 10 terabyte, so it's gonna be a slightly different skew than the originals, but as you can see, this looks like a white label red drive, just like all the others are. 
Now on the bottom here, the way these things connect, it just has a little SATA and power right there on the bottom. Uh, you need the screwdriver to take that off. This is the USB 3.0 controller. Voila. Some people might be able to use this, but I just throw those away. Then you have these little shock things on the side, the rubber mounts. This allows the uh, hard drive to not vibrate itself crazy. And then your torque screw, this is where you can take off these that are attached to the side. And then of course you'd mount it wherever you want. Like I'm gonna mount these on Zeus. 10 terabytes, can't wait to put this to use. One down and there you go, two to go. So. Actually, side note, I forgot, I didn't even think about, it's not that important, but hey, USB drives are useful. Each one of these drives, including the fourth one that I had over there, came with a 32 gigabyte USB 3.0 flash drive. Which, hey, that's cool. Got plenty of flash drives, can always use a little bit more. Never know when you need to store 32 gigabytes worth of stuff and take it with you. I wonder, is it bad just to unplug these? I think so. It's funny when I do stuff like this my way and not like, you know, the internet approved way, I can just like imagine all the people like cringing so hard, like, oh my God, how is he doing that right now? Why? Why would you do it like that? You should burn in PC hell for this. WD-100-E-M-A-Z. Ta-da! I probably should wait a little bit longer between when I power it down and start ripping it apart and stabbing it with a knife. Just, you know, for the spinning platter to finish spinning. But I listen to it, it doesn't sound or feel like it's moving anymore. Probably should, still could have waited, but I don't know. And good to go. China. I think these are made in China. Actually, what are they made in? Thailand. Made in Thailand, so... Yeah. Well, there you have it. A completely pointless video of me shucking 30 terabytes worth of hard drives that I bought from Best Buy. For it, I didn't actually say this before, but Best Buy had these on sale as a Black Friday sale, which wasn't really Black Friday sale, but that's what they said. But 10 terabytes and an external USB 3.0 enclosure for $179.99. Pretty amazing deal. And this like round of hard drives should carry me for a long time, especially since I have no immediate use for them. But that's good. It's always better to have more than you need. <laughs> also, another note uh, to anybody who might be having questions, it is kind of notorious for these, you know, hard drives that come in little external uh, enclosures like this to have a third pin like voltage thing that you have to disable on the SATA or maybe the power, I forgot which one, I'd have to look it up. But pretty much sometimes if you plug these into regular computers with like regular power cables, they will not power on because it'll like constantly go through this loop because one of these pins have to be, be disabled. I'm pretty sure it's the third pin right there. I'm not gonna like do anything until I plug it in and then if it doesn't boot up or it doesn't get recognized or whatever, then I will Google that and then do it that way. Possibly make a video on it. Maybe not, I don't know. 
since I'm going to be making a dedicated blue iris box, I think it'll probably be all part of that video if I do. So kind of an unplanned video. I was actually going to record the video for this behemoth. Look at this thing. This thing is huge. PTZ outdoor, these freaking AR IR sensor or blasters are just like a spotlight. It's crazy. It's a big ass camera too. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this enjoyable. I know, completely random, just shucking some drives. Now I have to figure out, well, I already know, but now I have to go through the routine of swapping out my parity drives. And then I will be able to, further from here on out, I can be able to get 10 terabyte drives if they become on sale, slap those into Zeus, and I won't have to worry about it. Technically, I'm adding 16 terabytes to my server, but putting 20 in. <laughs> Parody's a bitch. Well, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good night.